Hold on, welcome to your astrological vibrations for Tuesday, August 8th, 2023 by Guy of Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is a balance the crazy of the world with the love that I am. So here we are at 8-8, Lionsgate. And I have a very tenuous relationship with Lionsgate because... A lot of what is put out about Lionsgate is hyped, um, sensationalized, not actually true. And in having a conversation with somebody earlier this year about Lionsgate, a um, few, few months ago, it came to me like one of the things that like really, really bothers me, <laughs> maybe we'll say that, about Lionsgate. So Lionsgate started as 8-8. I think it was 8-8, 2008. I think it was like with a full moon or something like that. It was, you know, powerful energy. And that's cool. I like that. I like 8-8. I like 9-9. I like 10-10. I like 11-11. I like all of those things. I think that's cool. And I think it's enough. In this world of influencers and bigger, 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 more sensationalized stories, two numbers in sequence, eight, eight, it may not seem like enough. And yet, I know it is. Eight, eight as Lionsgate is enough. It doesn't have to be all these other things that people say. Yeah, energies are intense for sure. Right? Oh my goodness. We have some other things to dig into today. Um, but that's not the Lionsgate. That's some other stuff that's going around in this. So to me, Lionsgate, this 8-8 portal, is a reminder to step deeper into love. What I love is that the 8th card is the strength card. In this deck, it's courage. It's a card of Leo. It's the card of heart. And so to me, Lionsgate is seizing the courage that you have <laughs> to live from your heart and letting that be enough because it is. <laughs> letting that be the thing, letting that be the draw instead of this over information that gets us stuck in our head instead of dropping into the wisdom, the vibration, the pleasure, the goodness of the heart energy. So that being said, I'm going to give you more information about what's going on today, astro-wise. When I sat and looked at the astro, um, I started hearing the song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. So if you read my astro for Sunday, The Clash of the Titans, um, it was about us all facing our proverbial mountain, the challenges that we were having. And today, as the sun and the moon are swearing, and the moon and Uranus are connecting, and the moon and Jupiter are connecting, and we are building to a sun and, or not sun, Venus and Uranus square tomorrow, we've got this Venus-Taurus square that's pulling on us. And I feel like Ain't No Mountain High Enough is a song from the universe being like, don't worry, darling, you're not going through this alone. At every step you take, I am going to be with you. <laughs> um, that brings another song, right? Every step along the way, you are being cared for, taken care of, supported, to give you the courage to keep taking these steps, facing these mountains that we are facing. Some of the mountains are these internal mountains, issues around worth. I think the worth thing goes hand in hand with the Lionsgate thing because I think we're always, we're always trying to be more. I even find that. I'm like, oh, I do astrology. Is that enough? Like maybe I should do all these things. I have a friend who's a brilliant, brilliant person who's always adding to her work because because of the enoughness, right? And it's not to say that expansion is bad. I'm a Sagittarius. We're here to expand. But 
we've got to recognize the worth of things. And worth versus ego, <laughs> inner child versus the American produce, 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 show your value to the world, energies are up and squaring and challenging us to look deeper within, to know our enoughness, um, to know our worth, to know being love is all you need to do and be here, truly. And I know we need to do more to survive, right? But that is the important thing. And so having that courage is what is pulling us through today. That being said, it could get a little triggery. I think as we build to this Venus Uranus energy, relationships are being very triggered. And again, this is that place where do you need to love more? Now, sometimes it's loving more outside of ourselves, but often it's also loving more ourselves in this energy and seeing where you can love you more because that loving of you more does bubble out and trickle all over all relationships. So recognize that if triggery relationship stuff is up, where do you need to love you more uh, in this energy? Um, between four in the afternoon Tuesday and four in the morning Pacific time Wednesday, this is some major triggery times. So just be very, very aware of that. The moon is also going to give you a taste of that as it also squares the Venus energy. Where is Lilith in all this? Sometimes we just got to look, take a Lilith peek. All right, so Lilith, Lilith's holding space at, Lilith is holding space <laughs> working with, working with Saturn. Um, so some of this, some of this worth stuff may be very deep and very old. Um, it may be also part of that acceptance of the yin energy. I was telling a friend today, I love a moon in Taurus. You know, we want to eat good food. We want to rest. It's low low drama, not a lot of drama. Taurus moons, yes, <laughs> brings us into our yin. So that may be part of the courage, the courage to be in your yin and allow and surrender and flower. Be in the nothingness. Be in the patience state and energy. That may be part of it. It's funny because a lot of these cards are like, take it easy, take it slow. And then we have the intensity in reverse. Now the intensity could represent like some of these clashy energies that we're working with. And yet if you bring love to the table, if you can have that lion's courage within yourself, you know, the waters may be a little choppy, but you're going to sail through. So go listen to Ain't No Mountain High Enough because that has been playing over and over and over in my head this whole time. <laughs> Such a good song. Um, and you may need to apply it to something for yourself at this time. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are. You are love. Namaste.